cheek. Right. Like, he is kind of like a... Like, the common refrain after a lot of these sets is, what do I do against Sheik, you know? But, um... Yeti has won this matchup before. Uh, you know what is a pretty good move in this matchup for your Toon Link? Forward Smash. Forward Smash. <laughs> and yeah. if you know anything, you know he's landing Forward Smashes today. Like, just a little bit. Bless Scorpio, if he counted how many you got hit by. How many Toon Link Forward Smashes did you get hit by? <laughs> <laughs> yep. He'll get you. Yep. Same. But apparently Yeti's already 2-0 over Sinibu. Good looking out. <laughs> I love when we get the uh, player 2 and player 3 going. Because I like the yellow. I especially like it because his duck hunt, the color of the reticle is dependent on what player you are. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. It I does the red. That. It's red if you're a player one, blue, yellow, green. So I like getting the yellow one, especially because I play the yellow dog. Man. But anyway. You must always play player one against me. <laughs> yeah, I think I do. But we'll see. I think essentially if Getty gets in, he does a work. But getting in against Sheep, all that frame data, all those needles is yep. not easy. Yeah, the wall is so real. Okay. But that was a really good trade, the needles and the bombs oh, yeah. there. Don't die for the... Okay. Whenever anyone's on that smash level platform and I see an air dodge, I'm like, oh, God. Yep. Because I think Tinny Boo could have forward smashed if he had read it. Oh, yeah. Well, Sheik's forward smash is pretty, pretty bad, but he could have, like, forward air bouncing fish, too. But it Lotta. carries them forward. Yeah, that's, part that's of the right. Issue. That's right. That's right. Really, really even game. Yeti not seeming to struggle getting in as much as we've seen him do in the past. I also think he's making a bunch of smart decisions about when not to go in. Because yeah. that's really uh, what I think uh, both Sheik as a character and City Boo as a player capitalize on. He's predicting when you're coming in. And yeah. Ooh, I thought he had an up smash out of that, not an up tilt. I'm not sure he had enough time. Yeah, Sheik's possible. He's got really good options. This is true. Where did everybody go? Wow. I thought somebody was definitely going to get trumped out of uh, that. Oh, Sinny Boo would have been trumped, but he... Oh, and he pokes through again. Oh, you gotta watch out for that. He'll get you. So good. There's, there are actually so many characters who have uh, moves that go through the stage like that. You really do have to be aware of that. Right. And I think part of it is you don't expect Toon Link to be one of them. Like that toothpick does not look like it'll make it through, but it does. I mean, he puts it up. He gets his <laughs> arm up there, man. Yeah, he just keeps doing it. I mean, he's just such a good option, though. Like, he's re grabbing. I mean, I'm sure Sinibu will show us how to punish it if uh, yet he keeps doing it. Um, but right now, I'm not really seeing how that would be punished. Obviously, text good text. The multi hit. Sinibu not getting the kill, oh, but isn't really doesn't have that much extra percent on him yet. He's ooh, great okay. hair dodge from Yeti. Did it with the perfect timing so that he could also use the slingshot or the hook shot out of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really slick. Yeti's yeah, such a smart player. Rolls through the bouncing fish, gets a punish. And honestly, <laughs> it's at the point where Sinibu's got to be a little bit worried about dying already. Yes, 100%. You can kind of see it in his... Sinibu uh, uh, has some of my favorite emotes in the middle of matches if you watch the player cam. Yeah. Also, you can see how much Sinibu normally gets off of edge guards because he's going for them, but yet he's just making all the right decisions down there near the blast zones. Definitely. Oh, oh got him. No, too oh. far across the stage. Oh. I... He still got him, though. Like, oh. let's be real. Oh, oh vanish. Okay. And that's, that's super huge. That is that. Okay. It's... Close to the edge, but... That would have been back throw kill percent already. Now, uh, Oh, for sure. And off the pla Nashville platform? Yeah, even at the ledge. Now Yeti at least has put on, like, one more solid combo. And Plenty Yeti's... of stuff will kill now, though. Oh, yeah. Bomb confirms will start to work. Oof. I always think there's going to be more of a confirm off there. That was really good on Snake Do Not Dare Dodge, because yep. he didn't have a true combo. Oof. Up air poke. It does that. I don't know. I don't know if we've seen that tonight. Yeah, watch out for that. If oh. you were wondering previously what Toon Link's best move is, it's up there. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. <laughs> it's just watch Yeti, or like even better when Yeti's in teams and it's a Wagi. Yeah, just up air oh, everywhere. It's so good. That is up air the team. That is up air the team. Two, one, go. 
But Yeti up 1-0. He back just runs up and grabs him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when you know Yeti's like feeling himself. When he starts getting all the grabs. Right? I mean, it's kind of meaningless. He's already losing, but it's still amazing. It made a statement. Yes. And is being only like 30% behind Sheik really losing? No, true. Yeah, there's just nothing off of those throws. Like, at least up, up throw kind of makes them choose a landing option, but it low percents. They don't have to jump, they don't have to air dodge. So then it's kind of on you to read their landing option. There to bounce and fish. Okay. If you ever need to learn how to mix up your recovery, watch Yeti's tune. Yes. Jinzo was very, very good at guarding, and he has not gotten much off of it in this matchup yet. They've gotten into this kind of stance where they're just really feeling each other out now. Which I imagine is something to do with Yeti wanting to avoid any confirms in the bouncing fish. Yeah, just falling with that up air by the ledge. That, that looks such a good option. It's so deceptive. Because you don't think it's going to hit. You don't think he has that much grip. But the hitbox is wider than you think it is. Yes. And it lasts long enough that it's not over when you think you can punish it. Yeah, I think that's actually what makes a lot of those poking up airs work is the deceptive horizontal hitbox. It's definitely true for Duck on. Yeah. Oh! oh! Doesn't tech. Gets the kill with the forward smash. What a catch. The thing is, that would have caught tech in place. That might have caught roll away. That it was such looked a good like option. Yeti waited to see that was the reaction. Tech. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Whereas, I don't know, he, like, he might not have been able to do it on reaction with the tech in place. Yeah, maybe not. That's my only thought on that matter. But, uh, oh, uh, that's not safe. No, Yeti's feeling himself, though. It's, it's a scary world when Yeti's feeling himself. Absolutely. Oh, he just runs through the bouncing fish. And a nice little combo off for returning Boomerang. Probably thought, uh, Cindy Boo probably thought that bomb was going to explode before it hit the ground. And it's a good thing it didn't explode while he was in that shield, because that could have been enough hits or shield stun. Okay. Oh, oh, good jump from Cindy Boo. It might have broken shield. Yep. You don't want to risk that. Not against Toon Link. Cindy Boo's shaking his head. He's. He knows what's Ooh, happening. and Bomb Up Air will take it so early. He was really high off the stage, too. He was. So. Also, Toon Link didn't die down there. I could have sworn that he was going straight to his death oh, yeah, yeah, after yeah. the match. But. Man. Now, where do you do with Sinibu? I feel like you got to take him somewhere else. He's getting a lot of use I out think of I would want to. Yeah. Uh, Final Destination, maybe? No. Nope. That's what I was doing, thinking, doing but I'm right guessing back. that's what Yeti banned. It's like, you don't want Sheikah to go there. Yeah, or alternatively, that's like Yeti's most comfortable stage, that's too. That's true. So, like, you need to live longer. <laughs> yeah. Battlefield? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Hey. Having said, I love Smash Bros. I'm happy to see it again. Yep, Cine Cineboo is number one for a reason. The reason being, he usually wins on Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> But Yeti just reading all the options and getting the most optimal okay. punishes I can think of. Is that grab release combo? Pretty, I love it. It's it looks just so slick. I, it's like I feel like it's gotta be so infuriating as the opponent that he's the combo is like it's it's a good combo in terms of damage. It's, I wouldn't say it's like fantastic. It's good. Yeah, no, it's great. But the amount of time that you're stuck in it. There's like an element of mental damage there. Seriously, you know? can we get a Yeti forward smash tracker? Yeah, I honestly this is, want this one. is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But yeah, I agree. The, I wonder if like not okay, mashing would make say. a difference. Like, would it be more optimal to not get hit by the boomerang? Ooh. Just like sit there, take a few pummels, and yeah. then get a throw. Oh, up air reversal. Okay. Sneebu went for the air dodge. Mm -hmm. Yeti's air dodges have been so on point. Like, they're only when absolutely necessary. The thing about that is I would have thought that Sheik's up air would also punish pushing a relatively slow button like up air. Nope. He was waiting for the air dodge. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh. But, like, if you're waiting for that, air dodge reads often work when somebody presses a that's slow true. button, too. But, I mean, he just, I guess he just didn't input anything? Yeah. I don't know. Well, it looks like the, the up air that got through before uh, Sheik was doing up air. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's not going to be it because it's Sheik, fine, yeah. but scary. Definitely scary. Okay. Finally clearing this rage off, though, like, for real. It makes such a huge difference. And 
Okay. Now we have Cindy Boo with a lead. Cheek stuff. We've seen it before. Does it really matter? That villager's perturbed in the background. Oh, now he's happy. Cindy Boo not letting Yeti run up and grab him anymore? No. Okay, is there a dash attack? There oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay, man. yeah, yeah. But the forward smashes, though. Oh, <laughs> God, he read that one too! <laughs> Yeti! Oh, no! Uh. No! <laughs> oh, oh he yeah, yeah, he wanted it. <laughs> and Neil, Neil knows it too, like. <laughs> He's laughing in the player game. Yep. I mean, obviously Neil knows it, otherwise he would get hit by it. <laughs> yeah. uh. Okay. But Cineboo, playing smart, catching bombs. Toon Link still with the stage control, though. Oh. Fully charged arrow, let's go. Hits him out of the grenade. Ah, uh, okay. I, I like that whole series of reads that Yeti went for there. Good stuff by Cineboo to avoid the opposite, of course, though. Cineboo's had a really scary present, though. Yup, back air. That'll do it. Uh, that was not that great. That was a guy. clean 3-0. That was yeah. like Yeti has definitely won that matchup enough in the past that you know shouldn't be a surprise that he won. No, but, but wow, to, that for was anyone clean. Anyone to 3-0 Sinibu is yeah. good. So Yeti in the grands, Sinibu waiting in losers finals, and we're gonna have a losers quarters. Looks like. What do we got here? Losers quarters.